Hey, it's Nitin here, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to install PPC Keyword Genie on your Windows XP Service Pack 2 computer. So, once you've downloaded the zip file, um, all you have to do is basically go ahead and double click on the zip file, and um, there should be three uh, files. Now, if you don't have WinZip, I'm using WinZip here. If you don't have WinZip on your system, you can download WinZip uh, from from the WinZip website, and here's the URL. Okay, so go ahead and download WinZip and install WinZip. It's a very s quick install. Once you've installed it, um, you can come back to this zip file, double click, and you'll see three files within the uh, the zip f uh, zip folder. Okay, so what I want you to do is basically highlight. So press the control key and highlight all three files and then just drag them onto the desktop. Okay, once you've done that, you don't need the zip file anymore. And there you go, you 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 should have basically three files. You should have this ppckwgenie.msi a setup and a .net fx.exe file. Now Sometimes um, you may have the .NET uh, runtime already on your, uh, installed on your system, and if that's the case, then you really don't need to run this. But let's see what happens when you run this MSI package, which is the main installation for PVC Keyword Genie. So I'll just go ahead and double click and see what happens. Okay, so it's telling me that on this particular machine that I'm using, um, I don't have the .NET Framework version 2 uh, runtime uh, installed. So I'll just click, uh, would you like to uh, do this now? I'm going to say no because we have the runtime here. So the first thing we need to do is basically install this. So let's go through the installation of this. So we'll double click and this is the .NET runtime, okay? Okay, so we'll click Next. We'll agree to the license, of course, and then we'll click Install. So this is something that you really need to do before you can use uh, the uh, the software because it's been written in Microsoft.NET 2.0 and it needs this runtime on your computer to run it. Now, if you're using Windows Vista, you don't have an uh, have any issues because Vista already comes with the runtime installed. Okay, so once you've installed the uh, .NET Framework 2.0, you'll get this message which says that the framework has been successfully installed and you just click on Finish. And there you go, that's, that's the .NET Framework out of the way. And now all you have to do is install PPC Keyword Genie. So just double click on the MSI uh, file here and it's going to tell you that welcome to the PPC Keyword Genie Setup Wizard and we click next and it will by default it's going to put it into the C program files PPC Keyword Genie folder under PPC Keyword Genie and it's going to be available for everyone so there's nothing really you need to change here we'll just click next keep all the default settings and then click next again and that's it just a few seconds to install and we'll click close okay so once you've installed the uh, MSI package um, you can go to your Windows Explorer and under C program files PPC Keyword Genie and PPC Keyword Genie um, you'll see an EXE so that's your program. All you have to do is double click that and you should see the main interface. And that's it. There you go. And then you can start typing in whatever Mac Cosmetics Eyeshadow Offer and um, um, if you've noticed here, we've got these curly braces, and I just wanted you to be aware that this is a special character that will enable you to <coughs> um, 
excuse me, um, make singular and plural uh, keywords. So once you do that, you just click generate, and voila, there you go.